It is bird migration season, and across the world, volunteers are collecting data, some right here on our own beaches. Carolyn Gussoff met up with a group of people getting up before dawn, not for the sunrise, but for the science. Most folks come to the beach for what's below them, the surf and sand, but some volunteers. We have 12 nets. Come to Tobey Beach for what's above, migrating birds from as far away as Alaska to the South Pole and even Europe. An incredible superhighway in the sky that they're documenting. Leading the effort, 84-year-old Harvey Farber of Melville. There's all different uh, size bands for the different birds. A retired chemist who's been banding birds for six decades. 58. And now passing on the delicate skill to younger citizen scientists. You put the band on the leg, close it. These are special pliers so you don't squeeze it so hard. You're just kind of hit by this sense of wonder. We work our nine to fives, and then you come here and you realize, like, this is actually what it's about. Find a way to protect this, to like preserve this. Twice a week in May and again in the fall, they beat the birds here, setting up nearly invisible nets and gently untangling each one. Isn't that gorgeous? That orange? He's a male. As Farber bands and records species and size. I'm measuring the wing right now. This little bird will travel probably all the way to Central America. And often the same exact bird will return years later. Not only to Long Island, Island, but right to the spot where I banded it before. There really is nothing like holding one in your hand. Like holding a cotton ball. He almost weighs like nothing. Farber's documented 960 species. Data collected by volunteers and turned into the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service reveals trends. The bird population is down over the last 20 years, probably 50 or 60 percent. While helping to protect these populations, they get a front row seat to nature's stunning show. At Tobey Beach, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS News, New York.